Rudolf Meister Vojanov, mostly known only as Rudolf Meister, was a Slovenian poet, general, fighter for a northern border and probably the biggest hero of Slovenia. Just the fact that his statue in some kind of forum is literally in every city is probably the proof of that. If that's not enough, there are squares, primary schools and high schools named after him. Now why is Rudolf Meister such a personality in Slovenia? What made him such a hero and a badass? In addition to all the acknowledgements and honors that he has received in and after his years of service, what he did for the country of Slovenia is even more impressive. Let's start from the beginning. Rudolf Meister was born in the city of Kamnik in the year of 1874. He acquired education at the military schools in the former Austro-Hungary. He has proven to be very clever and good student, finishing school with the best mark. He has also proven himself to be a very capable leader and ascended in military ranks rapidly. In the following years, Rudolf Meister had been sent to different locations and in the year of 1917 received the rank of major. He then returned to Maribor and a few months later got named the permanent commander of the headquarters. Here is where Rudolf Meister became such a name in Slovenia. On the 30th October in 1918, German Municipal Council declared Maribor with its surrounding to be part of German Austria. The next day, on the 1st November, Major Rudolf Meister had met with all the officers and important personnel and firmly declared Ne priznavam teh točk. Maribor razglašan za posez države Slovencev, Hrvatov in Srbov in preuzemam v imenu svoje vlade after the meeting, he told all Slovenian officers and soldiers that he's taking the responsibility of the supreme command of the city. He asked them to stay with him because their country needs them. The same day, all the barracks, other important buildings and the city of Maribor became under Meister's military rule. Rudolf Meister became a general. Shocked Germans forced the Meister to establish the Lena Garda or Schulzwer. On the 9th November, General Meister has had enough of German tricks and made the decision to mobilize the troops. Slovenian men have answered the call of the General Meister and in a few weeks Meister have gathered an army of roughly 4,000 brave men. On the 23rd November in 1918 at 4 a.m. Meister outrun the German troops and disarmed Schulzer troops. Only four days after that Meister troops took many towns under their command. Troops from Celia and Ljubljana followed the example and took command in many towns as well. This action was approved by a pact both General Meister and Colonel Pesci have signed. Unfortunately, However, this pact wasn't recognized by Koroška, Štajarska and national government in Ljubljana. On the 27th January in 1919, US military delegation led by Lieutenant Colonel Sherman Miles arrived to Maribor. New borders have been determined by a Supreme Council. Although Meister's successful Yugoslavian offensive in Koroška, he had to leave the area with his mainly Slovenian and Serbian officers. Successful commander and liberator of the northern border and Maribor has returned disappointed in Maribor where he was later retired. This video came to an end. I'd like to thank all of you for subscribing, sharing and liking my videos. We've reached 500 subscribers and I'm really happy to see that you guys enjoy my videos. I'd also like to say that if you guys enjoy this series, please write in the comments below any suggestions on who I should include next. Thank you for watching.